So what I'm doing now is I'm getting ready to, I'm laying out this uh, a little hole pattern here on the end of the block. This is where this big square piece is going to go. Uh, let's see. Square piece is going to sit like so. And then this piece of flat bar will actually be welded on here also, just like that. So what I want to do is pin them on, like I, I had mentioned before, I want to dowel pin them. I've got some really nice dowel pins. I've got some half inch dowel pins here. I believe uh, the stack house has given me this, this box where I got these. And we're going to put two in there. I've got everything equally spaced. And then for our three quarter thick plate here, I got some 3 8 dowel pins. And I'm going to put two in there like so. And I'm just laying them out. I'm going to lay it up here. I'm going to use the K&T to uh, drill and ream these right here like I was set up. But what I was doing, I was just laying it out because I wanted a visual reference to make sure that I was, that I'm lining up where I need to be when I do this. And also for fun, while we're here, I'm going to use this optical, this optical center finder that I just recently got from Tom Taylor. And uh, just give it a really light punch there just to, uh, just to try the sucker out, you know. So, I'm going to go ahead and just pull the, uh, the, the punch part of it out. And well, that looks really nice. There's a black dot, there's a black circle, and then there's a black dot right in the middle. So I'm going to line that thing right up on the cross here and just kind of hold down on it. I'm going to pull the optical side out. I'm going to drop that down in there. I'm just going to use a little ball peen and just get a little taparoo there. Oh, yeah. If you can see it right here. All right, let's do one more. Let's see, we gotta put our sight in here. Okay, well those look nice. I'll go ahead and do it for these two right here also. And then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll set this thing up and, and start getting it uh, drilled and green. Fresh grinds, ready to make holes. So our two three-eighths holes, which will be right down here, those are on inch and a half centers. So we're in the center of the plate now, so we're gonna offset it on our x-axis, uh, three quarters each direction. touching that. Oh 
All right, we look good. Go ahead and do a little spot face right there uh, with that stubby drill. quarters of an inch deep and I'm just going to keep reading my, uh, my readout up here. I'm going to try to get an even circle. Okay, that's going to be my zero point. Looks like I went just past it. That's the dial pin, inch and a half long, so I'm just doing half and half. I'll just use a little bit of this anchor loop since it's a little bit harder to uh, get to. Feel it, break the chip. All right, here we go with our three eighths Chuck and Reamer. We already got it touched off. That's what we need right there. <clears throat> All right, now we can move on to our two half inch. Okay, our offset distance should be an inch from uh, where we are now to 
the first hole. spot it again just like I did before. Alright and our next distance is gonna be two inches. I'm gonna go ahead and spot that one. you just watched where I was drilling the hole I ran into a little issue and I decided to sleep on it kind of think about what I wanted to do so whenever I was drilling those holes the drill drilled oversize and I went in here to you know start reaming it and I realized the reamer was just going in the hole so here's my pins they just go in there so, I must have goofed on my grind, on my drill, or I just messed up by drilling it the way I was doing right here. I wasn't paying attention to the drill if it was wandering. So, what I've decided to do, this isn't killing the job or anything. This is just something additional that I wanted to do, but I was looking forward to having both pieces pinned and everything fit together in a precision manner where it was just kind of like a tapping on there and and it would be there what I got is these uh, half inch tension pins I, I usually call them roll pins but these are tension pins that are still tight the hole is five thousandths over half inch and these tensions pin, these tension pins are up to about 15 over so I can cut these and that will still tighten up in those holes so I, I think that's what I'm going to use right there I had done a quick search trying to find some, maybe some um, 9 16 dial pins like that, but I believe that's kind of an oddity, a hard size to find. So I'll just use these tension pins, and that'll work there. So that's what we're going to do. So I, I haven't decided uh, what piece I want to work on next, whether it be the block for this end or the, you know, the tube for the other end. Uh, just not quite sure yet, but stay tuned and I'm sure you'll find out soon. <laughs> 